Hi kids, it's Pastor Connie with Christ Lutheran Church in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and also serving the wonderful people at Our Saviors in Oshkosh. How you doing? I'm guessing you've had your first week of school, and I'm, I'm guessing also it's good to see friends. But I'm sure it's quite different as you're still trying to socially distance. Please know that I've been thinking of you all summer long and I'm thinking about how it's going for you this fall. Just know that we at Christ Lutheran and Our Saviors are going to be working together at combining Sunday school and confirmation classes. And yes, we are going to do it. We're just going to wait for you to get used to school this fall and then touch base with you and your parents. So we'll be in touch soon. You know, I love days like this. I love sunny days and the sound of the crickets and the birds, it's wonderful. And I often think when we're outside, we can have a lot of fun. The days never seem brighter than when we're having a fun time with friends and family outdoors. You know, God built us to be in relationship with each other. It makes God so happy to see us getting along. But sometimes these bright sunny days can turn dark fast when we have arguments with friends and family, when we're not getting along, it can darken our moods and change our days where we don't enjoy them at all. In Matthew chapter 18, this Sunday, we're talking about, well, Jesus is talking about it with his disciples, about those times in which we don't get along and what we can do about that. You know, I'm reading this gospel reading in Matthew, and Jesus is really serious. He's talking to his disciples about, hey, everyone needs to get along. It's, it's for the better, trust me. How many times have we gotten in an argument with family or friends, and, and it just it feels like being in a dark room where the sunshine in our life has just gone away? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I gotta turn on the light. Something's not working. Maybe it's the plug. No, it's plugged in. Maybe it's the light bulb. Uh-oh, just as I suspected, a burned out bulb. I'll be back. I have to take care of this. It's getting dark and I need more light in here. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to replace this bulb because when something's broken, we need to fix it. And it's best not to wait. Especially if it gets dark in here and I can't see, that's not good. Ah, and then there was light. You know, when we're not getting along with friends or family, it can be like, well, a dark room. But Jesus wants us all to get along. But what Jesus is telling his disciples is, well, you know what? If your relationship with someone is broken, stop what you're doing and fix it. Take care of it right away. So you and your friend or family member can go on and enjoy your day and not make the, the, the day so dark. We were meant to be in relationship and loving each other, my friends. And when we're loving each other, the whole world seems a little brighter. You know, and we don't have to do this alone. Jesus promises here in the Bible, he says, for where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. Meaning, when you're with others and you believe in me, I will be there for you to help you fix your problems. I will be there to know when you're sad. I will be there to love you 
and show others how they are loved. So can you trust that, my friends? Can you trust that not only that God loves you, but you're meant to love others? And how Jesus wants you to fix your relationships is by showing love. When you get in a fight with somebody, go back to them and try to fix it. Listen to them and see, well, if you can find some way to get along again. It's so worth it. I prefer a bright sunny day versus a dark day anytime. And so let Jesus turn on the light in your life by helping you get along with friends and family. And know this, my friends, as you go into the next school week, I want you to enjoy yourselves. And don't forget that God loves you, and so do I. Music